How to protect yourself from computer hacking. Facebook Twitter share When the internet became the main source for information in the world, there have been those that have sought to gain illegal profit from such things. This is the way of the world and people all over the world are now the target of the many computer hackers that are around. Unlike the bulk of people who are living in the virtual world, these hackers seek to gain access to the personal and private information that one has stored on their computer. With this information they will work to steal money, and the identity of the person. This is all done without having to leave the home and can be performed with a vast knowledge of how computers work. Many people believe that this sort of crime will never happen to them and that is not the case. The hackers of the world are very clever and work to make sure that they have access to the entire bulk of information on the internet and ways to use that information to their benefit. The most common form of hacking is the password grabber. With this form you get a program that works to guess the password that you have set up on the many protected areas of the web. Let's say that you do all of your banking online and your bank protects your account by way of a username and password. The hackers will gain access to the username in one way or another, most often by an intercepted email over a server that is not encrypted. With that they can then put into operation a password program that will guess hundreds of different combinations every hour until the machine has discovered the password. They will then gain access to your bank and promptly drain it. The best way to protect yourself against such theft is to make sure that you use a password that is not specific to you, such as your birthday, and also make sure that it contains numbers along with the letters. The password software will not be able to gain access because it can only guess either letters or numbers, not a combination of both because the choices are way too vast to compute. The other most common form of hacking is the direct email scam. These are oftentimes referred to as spoof emails. The email will come in looking very official and proper from a company that you have an account with. Then the email will most likely tell you that your account has been suspended and you need to log in to correct the problem. It will instruct you to click on a link to log in and will take you to a page that looks exactly like the actual company page. Once you log in you have given the hacker all of your account information. The way to protect yourself in this case is to make sure that you are getting the email from the company. Most often you will find that these companies will never ask you to follow a link to log in and they will never ask for your information in an email or other communication. Forward the emails to the company so they can start to track the problem and maybe shut the hackers down before someone falls victim.